All right, guys, so we just wrapped up our detail on this 2006 MB Sport. This boat came out absolutely incredible. We did the oxidation removal package at our detail shop. We did a 1000 grit wet sand. We did a heavy cut. We did our medium cut with the chop top. And then we used Shine Supply Classic Polish on this black to really make the paint pop. One of the worst things in boat detailing is that you do all of this work to get the boat looking good and then you don't maintain it properly and six months later, it starts to fade again. If you maintain your boat properly, your boat will look great season after season after season. All right, so what exactly is Shine Supply Punch It? Shine Supply Punch It is a ceramic detail spray. This is an SiO2 detail spray that is going to keep your boat protected. I usually would recommend you guys put this on right after you do a detail. So if you're a detailing business or if you are a boat owner, go ahead and apply this right after you ceramic coated your boat or wax your boat. This is what's going to keep your boat hydrophobic. All hydrophobic means is water bead. Common question people ask me is, hey, when do I know it's time to add more punch into my boat? The simple answer to that is when you notice your boat not water beading. When you apply punch it to your boat, it's going to make your boat water bead like crazy. Shine Supply Punch It is an extremely strong SiO2 spray. It's honestly probably one of the strongest ceramic detail sprays I've ever put on a boat. How exactly do you apply Shine Supply Punch It? You apply Shine Supply Punch It by misting it directly onto the boat in a very light spray, working in about five to eight foot sections at a time. We will also spray this directly onto the microfiber pad and then apply it to the surface. We will wipe the product in into the surface, then we'll gently flip our rag over and wipe away the excess. We'll tip typically always start from the end of the boat here, work our way all the way down the top here, and then we'll come down the hole right here and then work our way all the way around the boat. Spray it onto the rag, wipe it in gently, and that is how you apply the Shine Supply Punch It. Once you have applied the Shine Supply Punch It, you might wanna take sometimes a damp rag. I just sprayed a little mist of water on here with my pressure washer, and you can kinda go over the surface if there's any streaks, but for the most part, there shouldn't really be any streaks if you applied the Shine Supply Punch It properly. We we can also do all of the glass up here. We can do our metal tower going all the way up and down the metal. You can also do all of your interior gel coat to get the interior of your boat looking amazing and protected. One of the very final things that we do when we're done our boat details is we always detail the trailer as well here at our detail shop. Punch It does an amazing job on the trailer. We also will do the rims with Shine Supply Punch It to get the wheels and tires shined up. We use Shine Supply decked out for our tire shine on the the tires whenever you're maintaining your boat don't forget the trailer because you don't want a really beautiful shiny boat sitting on a really dirty trailer one of the best parts about the shine supply punch it is it literally will only take you about 15 minutes to do the entire boat the typical schedule that i follow for the punch it is to apply punch it right after you wax or ceramic coat your boat for the season go ahead and apply it to your boat once again every single month during the boating season and then once at the end of the boating season when you're going to store it or put it away for the winter months it may seem like a lot of work to apply the shine supply punch it to your boat once a month but i'm telling you it's a super quick process and it's going to make your boat easier to keep clean it's going to keep your boat slicked off and shiny and it's going to keep your boat protected year after year after year once we have applied shine supply punch it to the entire exterior of the boat it is good to go our customer can come pick up the boat it is the very last step that we do for our shop another product that i will recommend being i already have you here is this shine supply aftermath this is an amazing product that has SiO2 protectants in it as well. But what this product does is it actually removes fresh water spots from the surface. On our boat right here, we just did a ton of work. We sanded it down, we buffed it out, we ceramic coated it, we applied the punch it, and it is looking absolutely amazing. But you best believe the very first time he takes this boat out on the water, it will get water spots because when the minerals in the water dry onto the boat, it will leave behind the minerals once the sun dries the water. So whenever you pull your boat out of the water and you might see some water spots on your freshly coated surface or freshly waxed surface just take the aftermath we're going to spray it directly light mist onto the surface and then we are going to take a microfiber drying towel to dry off the surface these microfiber drying towels are the best option for drying your boat scratch free this is about a 23 foot boat i believe you're probably going to need about two of them so get two microfiber drying towels my recommendation for the shine supply aftermath is to just keep it inside of your boat somewhere and as soon as you pull your boat out after a long day on the water spray your boat down with aftermath dry it off and you're going to see those fresh water marks disappear and it'll keep your surface perfectly shiny
Guys, if you're interested in learning our oxidation removal package of how to wet sand, how to compound, how to polish, how to ceramic coat, and how to maintain a boat properly, you can sign up today for our online boat detailers masterclass. If you're interested in that course, we have a link in the description section down below. And if you use the discount code MASTER30, you'll get 30% off of the online course if you sign up today in the description section down below. Go ahead, do the steps that we talked about in today's video. If you are a boat owner and if you are a boat detailing business, obviously do this for your customers and use this video to educate your customers on how to properly maintain their boats so that it'll protect your hard work. If you got value out of today's video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell notification so that every time we make a video, it will pop up and all of the products that we talked about in today's video will be in the description section down below. The last thing you wanna do is do all of this work to get your boat protected and then you just let it go to crap. Please don't do that to the boats that we do and please don't do that if you are a boat owner. It's time to act out. Here we go. At the top of the class on a roll And it's time to run it up, yeah, you know Maxed out, put the pedal to the floor Hey, on the roll, here we go, here we go, yeah At the top of the class on a roll Hey, and it's time to run it up, yeah, you know Yeah, maxed out, put the